before I begin with this commentary. I just want to let you know that I'm only making this commentary not for harassment. Just for criticism. Now let's start. Emoji Marbles is a content creator who has a variety of styles. Emoji Marbles created his channel on the 23rd of June, 2016. A year later, he'd begin to upload content, which mostly consisted of skits with toys. His old content wasn't very good, however he was like 9 when he created stuff like this. So who can really blame him? About 4 years into his YouTube career, his channel would begin to blow up. Mostly because he uploaded things I'd consider as shit posts. To be honest, this is all kind of unimportant and I didn't need to tell you this. However, I don't give a fuck. Let me tell you this. You branding on someone because of their content is invalid. These days, Emoji Marbles uploads a variety of content, such as edited clips, memes, commentaries, and callouts. None of which are very good. Let me explain why they all suck dick. Kinda like me. Emoji Marbles edited clips. To be honest, there's nothing inherently wrong with these. Exactly. However what Emoji Marbles does that is wrong is take the same clip and edit it like 500 times. What's even worse, he doesn't put all these edited clips into one video. I do that sometimes. But that's what logo edgiers mostly do. Edit them with their own separate video. He instead uploads them individually. His memes? Also really nothing wrong with them. Except the fact in my opinion. They're really unfunny. Literally unfunnier than me. The most unfunny content creator on the planet. Yeah. You are pretty much unfunny just like Science Guy 722. Emoji Marbles commentaries. Oh boy. Here we go again. With Emoji Marbles commentaries, a lot of them aren't really commentaries, they're just rants. Are you stupid or something? Yes they are commentaries. Because, if they were just rants, then it would be exampling why I don't like them. If you want to know what the difference between a commentary and rant are, a commentary is commentating on something. Rants are based on opinion and they are more personal. Exactly. However, since Emoji Marbles probably doesn't know that. Actually, it's you who doesn't know that. Since commentaries have their criticisms. And you clearly have no idea what you even mean at all. I'll talk about these videos other problems. In a lot of Emoji Marbles actual commentary videos. He's usually just responding to a rant video made on him or responding to a joke video made about him. Not all the time, no. Basically displaying he can't take jokes or criticism. That is a lie! His callouts? They're like his commentaries. Except they're like 20 seconds long. And it's just him responding to a troll's joke comment. He basically displays he can't handle jokes. Shut the fuck up, no one cares! Know your fucking place, trash! So yeah, from what you can probably tell, Emoji Marble's content is kind of dog shit. And here's a fun fact. Ranting on someone because of their content is invalid. There's even more problems with it just in general. A problem I have with Emoji Marble's content is that it lacks consistency. Bruh. I just got dang told you that ranting on someone because of their content is invalid. Here's my advice. If you don't like my content, then don't watch it. It's that simple. See, in one video, he can be a character from Pokemon, and in another, he can be a fucking pie. All pie is a character I'm not even planning to use that often. He's most likely going to be a character that will be a one-off using. Not a character I use for commentaries. So, in his videos, he sometimes uses text-to-speech, 
and in another he could be using his actual voice. That doesn't matter, idiot. Basically, Emoji Marble's content is extremely inconsistent. Ooh, nobody gives a shit. Another problem I have with his content is that it is extremely unengaging. With a lot of his videos, he's just a bland image of some random cartoon character, or he just shows a still image and just talks. If you want me to get engaged into your content, at least do something in the background. Like I don't know. Play Roblox. Not everyone has to use a gaming background though. And also, I've been doing these type of commentaries for the year. I can do them whatever I want to. However I will tell you this. I will use gaming backgrounds sometimes. But not all the time. The last problem I have with his content is his upload schedule. To be fair, this is really up to my opinion. However with emoji marbles, he uploads like 3 to 5 times a day. I wouldn't say there's much wrong with that. Exactly. However, you should at least give your viewers some time to be excited for your videos. Not allowing your viewers to get excited for your videos can cause you to actually lose them. That's what I do. Plus. There are some videos I'm expecting not to have that much views. So don't worry. You're also going to have your chance to watch them. So yeah, there are my criticisms for Emoji Marble's content. Moving on to my next point. Oh boy. Not this topic again. Here we go guys. This will be a bumpy road. Emoji Marble's can't take criticism. God. I have to repeat this part again. Yes I can handle criticism. And I'm going to be showing you a real example of not taking criticism. Guys, I am very angry, because I got 80 dislikes on my video. That's why I wasn't able to post videos for a month. I tried to take a break, but I still see you guys disliking my videos. You probably don't have ears to listen to me. You're all mean, you are all cyberbully, you are all dirk, you don't deserve respect. I've had it, I am going to make grounded videos out of you to see how you like it. And how would you like that? And for each person who disliked my videos shall be reported on Roblox, DeviantArt, Discord, Twitter, Reddit, and even worse. Go animate on YouTube. Before all you Emoji Marbles fans ask in the comments how can he not take criticism just take a look at his channel. Shut the fuck up, no one cares. Know your fucking place, trash. And in fact, I'll give you an example of how he can't. Let's now talk about Science Guy 722. Science Guy 722 is a somewhat similar content creator to Emoji Marbles. However the major difference between them is that his content is actually good. So basically you're telling me someone that makes X shipping videos out of users are good. I'll admit that some of his videos like his commentary videos are good. But his newer content isn't. Since he's a huge meaning towards users like Green Penguin Steam 2009. But that's unimportant. Anyways back in I think like March. Science Guy 722 would begin criticizing Emoji Marbles for his bad content and give him advice on how to improve it. He should also know that's invalid. And he should just not watch if he doesn't like it. However, since Emoji Marbles can't take criticism, he That is a lie! He of course had to respond to Science Guy 722 in a video. In the video Emoji Marbles accused Science Guy 722 of opinion bashing because he believed his content would improve if he used gameplay, and quote unquote called him out for expressing the fact he liked a rant video made on Emoji Marbles himself. These days Science Guy 722 largely just trolls Emoji Marbles, and since Emoji Marbles can't handle jokes, it makes him mad. There's much more examples of Emoji Marbles not being able to take criticism. Again, what you're saying is false. Don't you remember the video I just showed you? However, this is the only one I want to cover. Moving on to my next point. <laughs> Emoji Marbles can't take jokes. I've addressed this before like 1000 times in this video. However, 
I'm going to point this out again. If you want proof of emoji marbles not being able to take jokes, you can just look at his callouts. He displays the fact he cannot handle a joke at all. He'll accuse trolls of being cyber bullies because they call him fatherless as an obvious fucking joke. The fatherless term could also offend someone's dad. That's called offensive jokes. And if you make a joke video relating to him, of course, he has to respond. He even did that with one of my joke videos only somewhat relating to him. Okay, now I want to move on to my final point. <laughs> Emoji Marbles has a bad habit of feeding trolls. As I've said before, in Emoji Marbles callouts, he calls out random internet trolls for calling him fatherless, or something as harmless as that. However, when I brought up to him that these people are trolls, he responded saying that he's trolling them back. No, you're not trolling these guys back. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Oh my god, stop fucking lying. You're just showing them you're kind of a pussy. The only winning move with a troll is to not play along, or pretend you agree with the insane bullshit they are saying. <laughs> Conclusion. Emoji Marbles isn't a great content creator. He makes shit content. Can't handle criticism. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Oh my god, stop fucking lying! Can't handle jokes, and has the habit of feeding obvious trolls. Emoji Marbles is likely going to make a shitty response to this video. However, I don't care. So my ultra final conclusion is that Emoji Marbles sucks ass. Unrelated, but I have two videos in the making that'll likely come out soon. Take me home. Don't worry. I won't and I'll just end it here.